Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to continue investigating the P0303 Misfire Cylinder 3 that we had in my 2003 Jeep TJ. Taking viewer responses and creating a video from it until we narrow it down. I already have an idea what it is, but today's video we're going to do a simple one and that's checking for spark. Now however, in this video, in this test, we're going to be able to see for spark. However, the ideal time would to do it is when indeed when it's acting up. So instead of the old traditional way where you remove the spark plug and then you know you ground it out and you can see the spark and you could get zapped, we're going to use this tool right here. We're going to verify spark through the wire, not through the actual plug itself. For that, I'm going to have another video on something that I'm going to set up in order to show you guys. But for this, this is what we're going to use. This is a blue point tool. And while the engine's running, you just touch it and it starts to glow. Of course, you can check it coming right off the coil as well. There's another style. It's this one here. It's a little bit more work. You plug it in and it checks for spark. I'm just going to start it up quickly so you guys can see. It really just does the same thing. I personally like this pen one better because it's quick and dirty. This one here works equally the same, but it's a little bit more work. You gotta pull your boots off and insert this tool and where this here, you just, it's got that groove right there. You just slide it over. You know, it's not that bright though. That's why I had to have the lights off and unfortunately, hopefully that got caught in the camera. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That being said, however, if you, like I said earlier, if you suspect a misfire condition and the problem might be within the coil or the wires, this tool will greatly help you out with that. It'll only diagnose and troubleshoot it if it's actually doing it when you're trying to use this tool. Otherwise, where I just did right now, everything's working fine, no misfiring, so it worked on every cylinder. That's the problem with intermittent problems because they come and they go. They come and they go. So unless it's happening, you can't solve it. That's the biggest thing when it comes to people when they take their vehicle to the mechanic because it may do it for you, but if it doesn't do it for the mechanic, he won't be able to figure it out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'm going to do another video in the near future on how to actually fire your spark plugs outside the vehicle safely to check for spark. See you guys later.